Have you noticed a rise in account takeover attacks lately? That's when a fraudster gets access to an account that they probably shouldn't have access to to steal data or money or even sell that account on the black market. Unfortunately, more and more people are falling victim to this type of attack. Last year, it was 29%, up from 22% just a couple years prior. Now, the impact of this type of attack affects more than just the individual. It also affects businesses, whether it's financial losses, legal trouble, or losing customers due to a damaged reputation. So what can businesses do to stop these types of attacks in their tracks? Well, these types of attacks tend to leave behind some kind of digital trace from the methods that they use, like phishing, credential stuffing, or brute force attacks. And if you're able to identify the patterns and detect suspicious activity, then you can stop account takeovers from happening in real time. Now that's where Fingerprint comes in. Fingerprint is a device intelligence platform that gives you actionable insights about the visitors that are interacting with your site or mobile application. Let's take a look at some of the data that Fingerprint can provide you. Here we're taking a look at the Fingerprint Playground. You can access the site yourself at demo.fingerprint.com. The first thing you'll see is the visitor ID. This is unique to my browser and doesn't change even if I make some changes to the settings or I clear cookies or I go in incognito mode. This reliable and highly accurate visitor ID can be used to detect if someone's trying to access an account from a brand new device or if a single device has access to an unusual amount of accounts. On top of the visitor identification, we also provide you with smart signals for both web and mobile. Now these can help you to detect suspicious activity. For example, bot detection can help you stop automated attacks or you know, credential stuffing or brute force attacks. VPN can be detected because fraudsters often try to hide their location through VPN. You can also detect some of the tools that are often used for these types of attacks, like virtual machines, remote control tools, or even if the developer tools tab is open. Another useful signal is the high activity device signal. This lets you know if a visitor is visiting your site an unusually large amount of times based on your own normal distribution of activity. So with all these different signals combined together, you can develop your own fraud prevention logic. So let's take a look at how that works with the demo. On this page, we've got a simple login and I'm going to go ahead and just keep the pre-filled credentials, but you should know that I've never logged into this account before on this device. And the site is able to tell that using the fingerprint visitor ID. It knows what devices have been used with this account before. And so when I try and log in, even though the credentials are correct, it'll say, hmm, we don't recognize this device. Uh, we're going to ask you for some additional factor of authentication. Great. Now let's say I'm trying to attack this login page with some kind of brute force attack. Maybe I'm trying a bunch of different passwords. Perhaps I've gotten access to a list of credentials from some other website breach or data leak. After a while, the site's gonna stop me. It's gonna say, you've tried too many times and you're now locked out from logging in. But let's say I swap to incognito mode. Will I still be recognized even, even now? Well, yes, again, fingerprint, their visitor ID does not change even in incognito mode. So if I try and log in again, even though I have the right credentials, it recognizes my visitor ID and says, nope, we saw you before trying to log in too many times. So if you want to try this out yourself, we also have this demo available online at demo.fingerprint.com. You can also take a look at the tutorial that goes along with it, where we show you how to build this logic out step by step, and you can see the workings behind the scenes. So there you have it. Using fingerprint visitor intelligence is a really powerful way to stop account takeover attacks. We offer you really highly accurate data so you can stay ahead of fraudsters. You want to learn more or try it out yourself? Try a free trial or contact our team and let us help you prevent account takeovers and protect your customers' accounts. Take care.